guys, it's Cami and welcome to the video. So we're gonna be doing another foundation wear test video for a few hours today. I'm gonna be wearing this foundation right here. This is the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage Foundation. It says you're able to wear it for 12 hours. My skin is like oily combination. I also have some blemishes and some past blemish marks. So I have problematic skin. So I love to see how a foundation wears on my skin for hours. It's 1029. So I'm gonna be wearing this for a few hours today and I'm gonna tell you guys how it goes. I have two colors here. These are colors tan warm and medium to tan warm. So I'm gonna try to see which one matches me. I've already done my skincare. I've already prepped with my moisturizers and my primers. I use a moisturizer, primer, and setting spray, the same ones that I normally use in my videos. All right, so at the Ulta Beauty website, I'm gonna tell you how much it is and how much you get. So on the website, this is called the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Longwear Foundation. In this tube, you get one ounce of product and that is pretty normal for a foundation bottle. And it is going for $8 on sale. Regular price, $16. So this has just come out within the last couple of weeks. There are two reviews on the website and it is going for four and a half stars out of five. In addition to wearing the foundation today, I'm gonna to be trying the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. This was $9 and this is not brand new, but it's new to me. It's $9 and it has 2,000, over 2,000 reviews and it is four and a half stars out of five. So I am ready to get started. I love that these were on sale, you guys. I don't know how long the sale is lasting, but the sale is is in store where I bought it for that amount and then also the sale is online we just saw it right here on my phone I'm gonna be using one of my new favorite sponges this is the wet n wild fall in love Valentine's Day collection sponge and I'm also gonna be using a foundation brush I'm gonna use them on different sides of my face to apply the foundation just so you get a feel for which one is working better for me in order to use less product, I like to match my face color to my neck color with the product, okay? So normally, my foundation will look a little too light for me, so I'll just match it with my neck, so my face is gonna end up looking brighter in the beginning, and then I'll put bronzer and contour on, and that will make all the darker parts as dark as you see them now, okay? So that's how I usually pick my foundations, and this is the color medium to tan warm over there. So yeah, so I have them on their respective sides on my desk. I don't want to get confused. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this down, swatch this down. Hmm. Now tan warm might end up being my summer color. So yeah, I might just keep tan warm around just because as the months get hotter, it might work for me. I don't know. I feel like I should go medium to tan warm. I should use this one because it's closer to my neck. So that's what we're going to do today. Nice and warm. I really like that. This looks pretty good. <laughs> and my concealer says tan warm. So we're going to see how this goes. So I'm going with the medium to tan warm, you guys. I have a penny sized dot on each side. So I'm gonna use a sponge on my left side and I'm gonna use the foundation brush on my right side and I'm gonna tell you guys which one I think applies better. So I have a blemish here and I have a blemish here. So you'll be able to see like really good, for example, how it goes. Where'd it go? Oh, this is definitely full coverage. I think the color definitely matches my neck better than the other color would have. And it goes on matte, like it's not even like a silky color at first. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that coverage. Wow. Wow, it's just matte, like right away. This is definitely a full coverage foundation. Wow. Okay, so that's how one pump applied with my sponge. Now I'm gonna go with the brush. Now I'm gonna go with the brush on my right side because you've seen how the one pump applies with the sponge. Pretty even. Pretty nice. Okay, here we go. I like to try to disperse it a little bit stipple it also before I start 
I guess, wiping with the brush. So I'm gonna take more of it, go up here. Stipple, stipple, yeah. So I definitely think for my full face, I'm definitely gonna need at least two more penny-sized amounts. <clears throat> I mean, obviously I had a blemish that was you know, outright brown purple right under my eye. I do need concealer for it, but yeah, this is a really, really good foundation for coverage. All right, so I don't think that the brush dispersed the penny sized amount of foundation onto the right side of my face as far as the sponge did. I feel like over here, there's not as much product down here and there's not as much product up here on my forehead with the brush as there is on my forehead in the middle of my face and down near my jawline with the sponge. So I would say to use a sponge for myself for this product. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know. I think this is nice. It's matte, like if you just want a matte foundation, no playing around, no silky smooth matte, no satin finish or anything like that, this matte is gonna take you there. So let's go ahead and add two more dots at least. How people get their ears, I'm just like, I don't know, I don't want makeup in my hair that much, so I try to just skip my ears, but if you want to make your ears match your face, then I would recommend trying it out. Wow, you guys, I love the coverage. I totally could leave the house right now and feel comfortable doing it. So this is how it looks everywhere. It's nice and even around my nose. Wow, I think I'm gonna like this. Wow, okay. I. I'm impressed. Okay, so normally I would go ahead and start contouring or bronzing my skin because I really like to do those things early, but I'm gonna go ahead with the full coverage concealer because I've never used it before. I used the medium to tan warm foundation and I'm using the tan warm concealer. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know how it's gonna work out. It's my first time using all of this. So I'm just gonna use the back of the eggy part of my sponge for this. And it's also nice to know how the foundation works with concealers that you wanna use on a regular basis. So I know my normal concealer that I use during my wear tests is the Morphe Fluidity Concealer. It's a little bit hydrating and the color is perfect for me. I use, I use C2.65 and then also, so it's a little cool tone I guess, but also it's full coverage. So I just, I really love that concealer. It works for me, I love it. But I wanna try this and see how it does. This did good, I like the way that sponge works. So maybe I could've used a color corrector under here. Okay, so this concealer is waterproof. I don't know that I've ever used a waterproof concealer before. But yeah, so I have on concealer, you guys. The wear test has begun. I'm very excited about this. I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup, you guys, and at the end, when I'm done with doing that, I will come back and we will check in. I always spray my face twice. So I use um, the spray at the beginning on my skin, and then when I finish my makeup, I use spray right before I like go somewhere. So this is it, this is the finished makeup look for the day. Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Full Coverage Foundation. Okay guys, so it's been an hour and I just wanna let you know how I think it's wearing with everything. Um, so I do wanna tell you that the foundation did a pretty good job when I had to use like my bronzing brush to brush in my bronzer. So it didn't like move any of the product I don't see that it looks patchy anywhere up there. The foundation is also not yet moving like around my nose. Sometimes I have like a little bit of cracking there. I actually like the concealer. It's full coverage. It's not creasing under my eyes. So I'm gonna wear the rest of this makeup for, let's see, a couple hours and then I'm gonna come back and check in with you guys. So the time right now is 11:38, so i've been wearing the makeup for just an hour but 
I like it so far. I really, really like it. So right now it's 2.44, guys, and I like the way my makeup looks. I mean, I'm a little oily. I don't powder all throughout the day. Yes, I did use a powder on my face when I finished my makeup. I'm just like sitting in my car with my car on. I have to like go, but <laughs> someone just saw me like recording myself sitting in my car. But honestly, this looks good. This foundation looks so pretty. Even though I love how glowy my face is right now, um, mine is just like oil. I mean like glow. Um, I think that I really like my makeup today, but speaking about just the foundation, if we get close, you can see that it has not really cracked that much. I'm actually gonna go get crepes. I want a banana crepe so badly. So I'm gonna get my crepe. I'm also gonna pick up a make it, makeup package that I have, and then we're gonna come back to the house. I traveled a little bit away, and I forgot that I didn't show you guys what time it is. Um, I'm just picking up a package, but here. So I put on my mask really quick so that I can get this from where it was. I got my e.l.f. makeup. Very excited about that. So let's go get that crepe. <laughs> All right, guys. So, okay, I'm finally back in the car. Whew. So this is the crepe. And then I think I got strawberries on the side. I'll show you everything when we get back. No smile line creases. How about my nose? It still looks okay. It still looks like normal around my nose. This is so nice. So it's 322, I'm gonna go in the house and we're gonna talk more after I eat this crepe. <laughs> my lip from my crepe that crepe was so good okay guys so I'm gonna try to make it a little bit darker in here so you can see like how the foundation looks so it is now 413 so I've been wearing this makeup for 10 11 12 1 2 3 five and five hours and 45 minutes just about so i think that's pretty good indication of how this foundation is going to be wearing for the rest of the night so let's zoom in and show you guys the texture is not what this video is about i do have texture on my skin i didn't say before but i have oily combination skin so you guys, according to this makeup, I have absolutely no smile lines. And I think that's a goal for a lot of people who are putting on makeup. You don't want creases here throughout the day. And this foundation has not creased. And let's do closer on my nose where I normally have a little bit of creasing. I wanna show you how it's going there. So, wow. It looks to the equivalent of a lot of other foundations I have of wear around my nose after like one hour. It looks really, really good going into this sixth hour of wear. I think that this is really nice. And my forehead still doesn't look like it's separating anywhere. I have to remember not to use like shiny blushes shiny blushes are just not for me wow you can't even tell that i was wearing a mask let's go back and do a close-up like um let me look at my nose in the mirror and see wow you really can't even tell that i was wearing a mask i really think that this foundation is beautiful i will definitely be wearing this more i really really like it a lot for the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Longwear Foundation. This is an A plus in my book. I have not done very many wear tests that get an A plus, just generally all around. Um, I say go get this one right now. If you've always wanted to try a full coverage foundation, this should be the one that you start with. It will set the bar very high and that is fine. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you spending time with me. Hopefully you learned something about foundation in this video. And if you are interested in me doing another foundation wear test, please in the comments down below, just write which foundation you would love for me to do a wear test on. Don't forget to follow me on social media and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.